I mentioned, it's a very uh, complex and subtle subject. And a number of shadows myself <clears throat> on what he's about to say. It's sort of Iyun. Maybe with God's help, we'll get to a resolution if I have time to research it. But let's look at it. And the quote that he's saying is that the OCS did not come, as we would expect, devolve from the the idea per se, or the midas. And two rise for, for that is that a midr or an idea of chesed should have different oasis than an idea or an emotion of gevurah, but they have the same oasis. Moreover, he adds from the Zohar that there are oasis that are inherently din and oasis that are inherently chesed, as we have learned in my modern Basti Dagani. So we would assume, therefore, we would expect that ideas or emotions of chesed would have exclusively chesed oisius, and likewise of gevura, it's not so. Now, the, the, the source of the whole sugya of oisius, the paradox of oisius being bushish in Haid and Seichel, is from Tanya, Geras HaKadosh. Which he brings in the others. Simon Hay. So the Al Trebe, it's a famous uh, Simon, and, and again, much, many, 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 my modern are based on it. It's the Yisoyed of the Holy Union. And there he says that, that we see that it's not as if when a person wants to articulate a certain letter, it's not an instruction that is filtered through seichel. Press the lips this way. Make the uh, five organs of speech collide this way. It's not. It comes directly from the rotsen. It comes from the rotsen and the fish. That's higher. Or kadmos seichel uses the lashon there too. That's higher than articulated seichel, which is why he says a cotton can understand but still can't speak because the Kadmus HaSeichel is not revealed. So as soon as the Nefesh wants, this Rotsen slash Kadmus HaSeichel uh, uh, level, which is higher than, 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 than conscious Seichel, the, the uh, five organs of speech respond immediately and accordingly. That's what we're talking about here. So we're in the middle. So we're up to the words of Mizem Mokach, which is five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines from the bottom of this second, the first paragraph of Raising Yimu. He concluded, it's not so that what, that idea of of, of chesed, opinion of Hillel, or an idea, a ruling of, Sha of Shammai uses different oasis, chesed oasis and gevur oasis is not so. So it's understood it's not that the idea itself produces. So you have an idea, and now you want to express it in words. So the idea itself creates the words by which the idea should be in, uh, expressed. That's how Ilum Alul works in all of Ishtar Shalos. As you said before, that's how the Vav and the He, the Vav from the first He of Shem Avaya works. He, he being, being Bina and Vav the Midas. The Seichel devolves, at least Bechitsoinius, and produces the Midas, Ilum Alul. It's not someone that comes to the Isis. They don't come from the Seichel, and for sure not from Midas, but much deeper. El Yesh Lehem, Shredesh La'atzmon, they have their own Shredesh. Umitzad Etzem, Shorshom, Yesh Tov, Eise Shol Chesed, Eise Shol Din. So, Umitzad, this is sort of Ion here, because, you just have to understand, there's not no Kashen, but this requires a Hasbore. He just finished saying that they have, they're not connected to the Midas. Now he says in the Etzim Shoydish, 
Yesh no oise shal chesed, oise shal din. Okay, we're not going to hold as and again, I need to uh, it, to research this further and get and get sources. But I'll compound him just in general to say this. Oisius means the koyach ha'gvul. The koyach ha'gvul, the keli doesn't emerge from the oir. The oir doesn't produce the keli. Koyach ha'gvul does not produce koyach ha'gvul. The two separate in yonim, as it were, mushrish in the etzem. And moreover, the koyach ha'gvul is mushrish deeper. Ultimately, it's all one. It's at Atmos, everything is one. And that's the Tachlis Kavanda is the fusion of the two. Bli Gvul and Gvul in its endless guises and forms. Almost every Maimer concludes the Tachlis in one, one model or another, as we just learned. With this Sadikim, with this Atshuva, in its endless guises. Akoponim, so when he says here that this Oise shall chesed, Oise shall din, it doesn't mean here in the mid sense, the, the classic mid emotion feeling sense. Because talking about here, that's a man nefesh. So it means the Oise that express, Oise that contain, that's what it means. In Kecha Gvul Gufa. Again, I'm not being, giving a lot of explanation, but we will and do get, I, I hope, you let me know the general idea. And the source of Oisius, again, Father establishes the door. So the the is in the Kadmus HaSeichel. Sholmalim HaSeichel. Kadmus HaSeichel slash Rotsen HaNefesh. Okay, do a beinyin. Abbe Yosad Brato, which had this is how this all began, this whole discussion. Sham Shochas Aisius Brato, that daughter, which is letters, Malchus, the external level of Malchus. Its root is not the Pinimis, but the external final letters, the communication of Malchus, which is what Malchus is, the letters of speech, divine speech, and the parallel in human soul. So they are rooted where in Chachman Abba. And that's what Mpchenes Kadmus Asechu. Yisabnus Oisius Me Kadmus Asechu Vodarech Adichuk. And it's not like the Oisius feel this source. It's Vodarech Adichuk. It produces it, but not in an intimate way. Just like he said earlier, Chochma Ayin Timotze. Chochma counts the level of Ayin. In other words, a level that is essentially removed and therefore produces in Pnimisa Chochma this absolute bittle to that which is beyond it. As for that is external level of Chachma, which will be explained further in the mind. What he wants to say primarily is, it's all to answer the question, why Neshambas? Why, why Neshambas of the character in Mevaru, the Guf, and Malachim cannot? Their Guf, notwithstanding they have a Guf, it's not the Tachlis of Dir B'Tachtoinim. Which is why they rejected their time. Only in the Shom. So, this is all to explain that. He started to explain that the Yudke Vovke so embraces all of existence. So, the, the Yud, that's the Shomis. Hey, that is Malachim. Chai, Tzemeach, lower levels of, of Malachim. That's the Vav, the Midas. And then the final He is the Doimer. So the, 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 the paradox is that the Doimer, the, the He and the Vav have this intimate relationship. Even the Yud and the He have a connection. But the Doimer stands on its own. And the doimem itzreish is pnimi is from the pnimius of yud. So since the neshom has come from yud, pnimius of yud, yud kevavke, they have the kriyach to be maile even the doimem. That's the whole nukud that he's saying here now, is to show the connections. Talk about that chiduchuk, but through avodah we mamshech and bring to bear pnimius achachma where in elam hazeh in the doimem. Okay, that's the geography. Are we clear on that?
we have to get that clear. And then the mind itself gives a certain husband to coming up. Are we clear on, on this outline? If not, let me know. Yeah. Okay. Allow me a cup of coffee. So in summary, just to say this very briefly, he want, he's answering why only an Ashama can elevate the doimim. The answer is because the doimim is rooted in, Shama has a unique connection to the doimim because what the Malach does not. Because the doimim, the OCS, which, which are relative doimim and are the source of the actual doimim, the physical world, God speaks and the world comes into existence. So this lowest level of the nefesh, it's just a letter of speech, paradoxically, is rooted in the primus of nefesh, in the primus of chokhmah, and that's where the neshama comes from. Hey, in Vovis Malachim, etc., as we learned earlier, doim semeh chayim medaber. The medaber is connected to yud chokhmah. That's why all the neshama, which has a shaykh as to the union of doimim, because doimim comes from the place where the neshama is rooted, Therefore, only Nisham can elevate. Let's continue. So just having finished now talking about the Oseas and the paradox of the letters of speech, that although they come at the end of the whole process, they actually root it in Pnei the they're higher than the, the actual idea that it's a paradox. The letters themselves are actually rooted in a higher place than the manifested concept. They exist independent. It's the concept chooses these are these letters, but they have their own shaders. Even though all they are are to serve the expression of seicha, they come from a higher place than the actual seicha. So that is again behalf is between tzmei chayim the medabas. Likewise, the difference between tzmei and chayim medabas. In the same way that we said till now that all the other letters it's only that the final hey malchus is rooted in the primius we see this in the parallel in Leilam Hazer. look at, at, at growing things and living things and 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 in contrast that's at the medaber which is chachma what's the difference when it comes to Growing things and living things, and they go from the nafshem be'erzelazet. Both their nefesh and their goof are comparable. When he's and were brought into existence, a goof and nefesh yachad at one simultaneously. Because of tachy orets, the earth should sprout as vegetation. Tait say orets, the earth brought forth. Nefesh chayy is talking about a living. Second pasuk is talking about a living, living creatures. In one moment, a living entity is brought into being. Nefesh and what? And goof. That's because they're not doimem. And because they're not doimem, so there's an ill of a olol and an intrinsic close connection between the higher level and the lower level. The nefesh and the, and the, and the goof. Again, if I'm going to discuss here, and likewise, if I'm going to discuss the hidden world, it's like Primius of Bina. Oh, the ocean, the oceanic world, Yishut Samayim, there too, Hashem commands, made the waters swarm with living creatures, and they did. Shanivra Kulam Kamay Shahim Ato, they all created the way they are as you see them. Kamay Marazal, as it says, we learned about this in the Basilegani Maimari, the Devish created them, Alti Vaisam, according to their hosts. Says the Gemara al Tzivyoyna. Tzivyoyna means according to their will. Each thing was created according to its will. Kind of was asked, you want to be created. Another Peter Tzivyoyna according to their beauty in a, in a harmonious way. But the Gemara concludes by Kemosa, they were created. Kemosa means adult, full. Things were created already complete at the outset, mature and full. Horses, birds, and bees. But Sivyoyna Nivru became Muslims again with their height, with their full stature, 
the bits of Yonah, and where there are these two Taichim, the main one is their Rodson, uh, according to their will. So he seems to imply, he mind you, that Kemosan's the goof and Tzivyoinam is the Nefesh, which makes sense. The Rodson, Nefesh is, Nefesh is essentially Rodson. I want to live. And, and in the lower forms of light, it's all you see, the will to live. It's pure Rodson, like a baby. It just occurs to me, that's what he means here. Or at least he's hinting to it. So these are the two in Yonim, Kemosan and Tzivyoinam, the goof and the Nefesh are created all at once. Not only the Mechin or Gamba Malachim should go from an Avshim Savaka Erhod. The Malachim too, body and Nefesh, all created as one. Why? Because the Nefesh we speak of in all of these cases is not the Doimim, complete Helem. It's not the, the Doimim that, that expresses Mitsuyusim uh, Atzmusai. Uh, these are living entities that point to a source. They point to a source, to the objective viewer, and even their even their physical body does. So therefore, he's saying that the the two components of their being are ilavolo. They're all they're comparable, like 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 bina hey and 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 vav, like seichel and midas. Not two separate worlds; they're complementary, and one and one will produce the other. If you think about something long enough in a, in a, in a deep way, Chacham bin Adas will produce a feeling. It's a natural consequence. My shanky me Briya It's not true of the doim of the of Briya Saadam. Just sort of what about the doim of this world? I have to find out where that fits into the picture. A component missed about the person. So Briya Saadam Shinas a Gufa Tchila. Only man was created differently. First, Bifnei First, the body was created. Without an animating soul in it. Mr. Kosek, the Pasuk says, Hashem formed him. Earth. From the ground. And then breathed a living soul into him. Kamai Marazal, the Gemara spells out the whole 12 hours of the first 12 hours of creation. The Gemara gives an hour by hour, blow by blow, description of what happened. The Shah is Shaina, Hutzbad, Afadai, the first hour. This is a Friday, the, first, the 12 hours of Friday, the last day of creation. So the first hour, his, the earth was gathered. Shniya, Nasa, Goyla. The second hour was made, was made into a shapeless form. We should cost like that. He says until him, go me my unformed state. Ro inecha your eye saw. No, the Malchus saying, Abish, you saw me, me meaning the collective man in my unformed state. It's also true of every person, the Proteus. Then, then only later on, the Pasik says, We back up of Nishmas Chaim, Hashem beat into him a living soul. He asks, it would appear that, that on the surface it makes him less. Everything else was created already with the nefesh. And here the person was created, the doyme magoyla. The lechor has a prisus. This is less than. That there was a time the body lay there as a goyla. As a teacher would tell us, like, don't sit there like lumps of lead. And that's... Uh, that's that's how the person began. That's the chayda uh, less than. But M is, but M is it points to the greatness of the person. So this actually points to <coughs> the mila of the medaba, the speaker, the human being, over the the malach. That because he comes from a higher shoulder, he can go descend lower. Because he comes from pnimius of chokma. Yud, Kaitzishal Yud. Hi, then the Malachim, which I Chesayin Sachach and Bina, and then, and then, and then, and then the the Midas Zo. So Davke the Nisham is in Sabesh. Davke the Guf Adam can come into a Guf. Shul Guf Ayis Etachten, which is much lower Taka than the Malach's Guf and the and the Guf of 
of all living creatures. Al Derech Sint, what we just said before, she says, Isis, me primi sachoch medafke, that the letters, these finite letters, they're just sounds. They're just sounds. But these sounds come from primi sachoch medafke, the not chlos and besef, besef chlos in the beginning. He's wedged in the end, and he wedged the end, the lowest level is wedged in the beginning, the highest level. Again, so just sort of in a little bit about the, the rest of the doyman, the rest of the world that is doyman, that's the Nakoda. That's the whole point. The rest of the world, who can elevate the rest of the world, is Davka Neshama, who, who came the Chathil into a doyman, into an animate object. Was the Malach coming into being to begin with his Giluyim, his Oyer, even his Nefesh, even his Guf, is, is living. And that's manifested here on earth as we see that in the four categories of life, so the middle two, living things and growing things to begin with, the goof is of a higher nature. So they're not doing them. Whereas the goof of a person is lechatchila doing them. Which would, I wonder what this means when an animal dies. So the chur of the goof is not the same that a person dies. Whatever the body is. But friends, we're getting the general idea. The general idea is that what? The dafke and the shome as the koyach to be maile and carry out the primisa kavon of dira b'tachtoni. The malachim protested. We're also a tacht and we also have a goof. So you're safer with us. Because we're not going to corrupt with our goof. We'll keep it neat and straight. The Bishya says, I don't want it neat and I don't want it straight. It's going to be the person. It's going to be a messy job along the way. But at the end, it's going to be a richness that you will only envy. And you'll come and listen. Right? You'll come and listen to Eden thrashing it out down here. Further explanation is down as my watch. Yeah, a beer, a union, a beer. Further beer, a beer, my list, Nishma, so the man, and Nishma, so my lochim. Explain the my love, the Nishama, over the, the, over the Nishama of a person, over the Nishama of my lochim, and his boy, the yell, and we said before, the my lochim. We good? Guys. Yeah. In my lochim, short, my lochim, short, Shemisham Malikim. Brought the race psukim that malachim the shaykes to shemalikim and the shomers shorsha mishemavaya. Mizay yuvim betoyis was beer. That's that shemavaya de la ela. Like then there's shemavaya said before, which is shaykes to isavus. It is there is a level of shemavaya that shaykes to malachim and, and everything else. You'd give off okay, the four. But he means Shemavaya is Pnimius. And in Shemavaya, which is Mahava, it is Pnimius. Achachma, Pnimius of Yud. Everything is relative. As you will see now, Mizem move and Shemitayus was beer at time, but understand further the reason she should have a Malachim, Nishmaz, Bosne, and Novi, why the Novi hears, it's fascinating, hears the song of the Malachim. We don't find him describing the song of the Shamas, even though the Shamas also sing. It's a different kind of song. It's a Pimizdika song that cannot be heard by any, any outsider, as we'll explain. Because Malochim, they showed the Shemlikim, Bechinus HaKelim. So there, in is what Kelim, Akelim, Mididim HaGbolo, Kelim are finite. Hashem can the with the Shamas, they're rooted in Shemavai, Pinas Oiris. So their shirt is not the Kaili, the Kaihagvu, but the Oir. The Oir is Einam, the Medida Vagbola, and the Oir of the, the source of the Nisham is not limited. And not only is it not limited, actually, Pomimavur, sometimes we find even more that what? Show you the same shooting because you can have like bleak vol chesed. No, it's higher than any tzir. Or poshut means divested of all 
of all four. And even though elsewhere it says, we learned about this last year, the Nishamas also rooted in Kalim, and that's the Kiddush of the Nishamas. However, I do a Shesherish and the Shamas in the Pneumis Akel. The Shamas come from Pneumis Akel. And just in a word, before we go further, to put this in just a context and just a general idea that keep as the context for everything it said about Ur and Kaylee. Even though he's going to talk about emotional and physical Kaylee in a second. We don't mean a physical Kaylee. We don't mean physical air either for that, for that matter. Light. So these are all metaphors. The Indian is air in general is bleak vul and vul. Expression and containment. So in containment, there's two levels. This is just in general, without, without at risk, the risk of oversimplifying. Gilu is Gilu. So that's, that's wonderful. Gilu expresses. Gvul is this, what are we getting? We're getting into, a, into a, uh, uh, an area of, of, of uh, concealment. Gvul, finitude. So there's two aspects to Gvul in most general terms. The external aspect of Gvul is concealment. The viewer is not seeing, not getting it. Removed. The pnimius of Keich HaGvul is that this is the shleimus of Alikus, that Alikus can be magbal himself. Hashem can reveal or, or contain. And it's no less him. Containment is no less him than revelation. And moreover, as we've learned over and over again, Hashem made it in such a way that we see within our own selves that when we contain ourselves, we're actually investing more energy than expressing ourselves. You want to say something, you say something, you're, ex you're expending is that the word? X amount of energy. But, it, but if you'd like to say something, you want to tell that person that, you want, whatever it is. You want, it's a great, whatever it is, iskafia. Iskafia, containment, takes more koya, which is why we don't do it as much as we ought to, or why it's such a terrible struggle, is because to contain ourselves, and I want to say, say it or do it, takes more energy, even though nothing's happening. So the Adrabah, so the Pneumis of Kei Chagvul is really rooted deeper. Our truth is, Mitzadah Atmos, as we said earlier this morning, everything is Bishof and Mamish. It's all Him. But Hashem deliberately creates a Dir B'tachtoinim. Now to create Dir B'tachtoinim, you have to have upper and lower. So throughout Yishtam Shalos, there's this higher and lower, including even what I'm talking about now. In Etzim and Oyen, Mamish, in Atmos, very close to the, where the Kavon is articulated, already there, higher and lower. And the paradox is that Kei is higher than, the Kei is rooted deeper than the Oyer. So that's what he says now. Nishama is externally, Gilil Likus. But I don't think it has no connection to Kei Chagvul, Adar Adar. It's Pneumius of Kei Chagvul. Pneumius of Kei Because it's an Atzmi, it has both. And that's why, that, that's where Oasis come from, ultimately. And that's why the Shama can engage the world and elevate it. Okay, we'll stop here and we'll continue. But I don't, I don't want to start this. It, it's a shtikal And we'll continue tomorrow. I hope that we're, we're having, we're getting some explanation. Some clarity. Yeah.